You see a bear, you're like, that's a better mode of transport. You jump on the bear, you're riding down the mountain on the bear, right? You hit a tree, it should hurt, but it feels so great, right? Yeah, so I, I fill up my van and then I fill up my cup. Perfect. But I don't drink the cup until I get home safe. <laughs> So, yeah, sometimes I accidentally grab one and it ends up in my mouth. And I'm like, oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh, well. Not the first time, eh, Dan? No. <laughs> <laughs> I play my heart out. Yeah, there you go. But I don't rip my heart out of my chest and play it. <laughs> Boom, boom. All righty then. We got the whole second. You can get all that in there? You got you got some? Sick. Oh, yeah, you got a wide shot of me? Is it wide enough though, huh? Yeah. Okay. Get, a, get the close up in there. So you got this one coming to me. That's my camera. That one going to you guys. Yeah. You get one camera for both of you? Yeah, we got one for the one, table. One, two, three. Oh. Table, yeah. You got the wide, the close up, the close up. Exactly. You guys know this business. Yeah, yeah. We need multiple angles in, ca in case somebody messes up and then we're good. God damn it, Steve. Steve's always causing trouble. He's always, so he told me he couldn't make it. Okay. And he's like, could you do it instead? I said, what is it? He said, it's a podcast. I said, what the hell's a podcast? <laughs> he's like, you just talk. I'm like, well, I can do that. So I said, well, I'm going to bring you with me. Whether you like it or not. So I snapped this picture of him <laughs> this morning when he was dropping me off. And I went to Walmart. I developed it. I put it in a frame. I'm like, now you're here with me. That's that's perfect. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe you did that for us. I, I feel... Uh, so you can see him. Yeah. Well, He's thanks, a nice guy. Thanks, Steve. Thanks for joining you us would today. Say you're welcome. Okay. And thank you. He's well, quite humble. Yeah. Sounds sometimes. like sounds like it. He could be a real dick. If he has a picture so. frame of himself, sounds pretty hungry. No, I, I put it in a picture frame. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. I actually took out his wedding picture. <laughs> oh, there you go. Even better. He doesn't need that. <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll do a quick uh, intro. We'll we'll keep all that if we got it. <laughs> we, we haven't Let's started keep yet? All that. <laughs> no. Oh here, my grab God. that bottle real quick. This one? Yeah, put oh. it over here. Oh. Just, okay. And then we're good. Okay, ready? There right we go. in. And then I'm gonna not too loud. Keep, okay. We're going to keep all that, and then I'm going to segue into this. Sure. All right. Okay. Welcome. This is live from Langley, BC, the number one podcast in Langley, where we talk to local residents and business owners about local events and businesses. Our goal is to bring awareness to all local things while meeting all the awesome people around the community that are doing it. I'm your co-host, Dan, local realtor. That's my phone again. And this is... Megan from the local space. If you're watching this on YouTube, leave a comment, like, subscribe. And if you're listening on Spotify, Apple Music, leave us a rating, please. And thank you to anyone who's done that. It really keeps us going. Only if it's a five, though, right? Don't, five don't stars leave the own. ones. We don't want the ones. Those, uh, I mean, that keeps things real, I think. Our guest today is Donnie M. Whiskey, the killer distiller, the turtleneck and chain CEO of Mainland Whiskey. I'm not really a distiller. Oh. But I drink. There you go. That that counts. That counts. I you test the product. I'm kind of like the unofficial mascot. I had a long career ahead of my retirement, and then I met Steve and Mainland Whiskey. And I appeared there one day, and I said, this place is pretty damn cool. You get to drink all day. You get to... Well, yeah, not to excess, just to taste the notes, right? Mm, exactly. It's a very interesting process. Um, they treat me like family, probably because I won't leave. <laughs> But That's one thing. I feel very welcome there, and I think everybody that goes to their lounge feels very, very welcome, and that's what I love about it, right? But I'm I'm kind of like a mascot. I go to a, a liquor store and I tell I tell the people at the counter, "Do you have any mainline whiskey?" And they say, "No." I said, "You should get some mainline whiskey. I'll be in here next week. I'll go back next week. They still don't have mainline whiskey. I'll say you should probably get some mainline whiskey." Uh, and then I go back next week, and then finally they have mainland whiskey. And I'm I like, I can't imagine guys. what that would be like, especially somebody who's like first day on the job, and then you come through the door, and it's just like, uh, what did I sign up for? <laughs> Does this always happen? He's a lucky guy. <laughs> he right? gets an autograph from you? <laughs> actually, funny enough, I used to be a national kazoo champion, right? Oh, yeah. So I, I am actually not from here. Oh, yeah, where are you from? I'm from a little island off the uh, Pacific coast called Quanta. 
Okay. It's a small little nation. There's I've never heard of that. People on it. Anyways, they love music, right? Not just not just traditional rock and roll, which I love. I love music. Let's talk more about music. But I love the kazoo. So I used to be a national kazoo champion there. I did competitions. I did performances. The kazoo, for for anyone who doesn't know, what what, what does that look like? Maybe throw it's a, a little, picture. It's a little instrument. <laughs> Golden kazoo. Right, yeah, it's almost real gold. With it's not. Um, a sign. The you're talking about, you're talking about a signature. So oh. he actually asked me to sign a kazoo, and now he, he gives it away. Steve. He gives them, gives them away for with all the bottles of kazoo whiskey, Canadian oh, whiskey that we have. Yeah, okay. fantastic whiskey. Fantastic whiskey. Um, do you know how to play the kazoo? Never, never played it. It looks. <laughs> well, it's pretty good. Yeah. Any requests? Is there a little tune? Is there a, is there like a catchy tune that you got for uh, Mainland? A little jingle? Play a note or two. All right, let's go. Wow, that was amazing! That was amazing! That was amazing! I did not expect that at all. Yes, let's get into it. I mean, it's five p.m., so five o'clock somewhere. We could go with that. Uh, So, Mainland has just released a bunch of mini old fashions. So we got the classic. That's the one in all the breweries in Langley. Uh, The one that I've had at uh, Five Roads. The one that I've had that I don't remember. If you want to re-remember it and taste it when maybe you haven't had uh, seventeen beers, yes, uh, you can try the coffee old fashioned made. With real locally roasted coffee. Unfortunately, not from Langley, but from Surrey, the dude's coffee house. Mm. We take 20 pounds of coffee beans. We dump them in 100 liters of whiskey. We let it sit for a month, and then we strain it out. Then we have that whiskey, a coffee whiskey liqueur. We add some sugar, and then we make an old-fashioned out of it. It's fantastic. Wow. Uh, what else? Cherry, made with organic cherries. Really, really good. And then, this one's really interesting. It's a jasmine new fashion. It's unaged corn whiskey. Jasmine water, celery bitters, and cane sugar. So good. Perfect cocktail. And these are all cocktails, and this is a very southern uh, praline liqueur. It's called Dancing Pony. Awesome. Okay. Spicy in there? Or what? Uh, it tastes like pecan pie. It's so oh, delicious. Yummy. Pick one. All right. Well, I've had the old-fashioned. Okay. Um, let me try the uh, – I'll do it the, the, the southern one, the Dancing Pony. That'd be. You guys want one? Hey, what do you want? <laughs> Let's. You want the classic? Come on, boys. Hey, yeah, we're doing a live underage, taste. So let's not offer. <laughs> <it>. <laughs> Who's underage? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being responsible <laughs> and not risking my license. Okay, <laughs> you can't have one. No. Ah. Uh, that smells good. Yeah, this one. So are you like the first one to try something like this? Because I've never seen it with whiskey. Obviously, seen it with a bunch of different types of liquors. Uh, no, no. With, the, with, with like flavor infused. Oh. Oh. Uh, I've well, seen, I've seen banana whiskeys. I'm lying. That's, that's new. That's, so yeah. that's that howler head stuff, right? That's oh, the howler head God. stuff. I've had And peach, same with. There's peach whiskey. So Crown Royal has a huge line yeah. of, of oh, flavored yeah. whiskeys. The apple. It's oh, terrible. Man. I'm yeah. sorry, Crown Royal. I think you're. You should do a peach there. one. I should. I should. I'll talk to Steve about that. I really don't have any say on anything. However, one reason we do these things is because they're real, right? So the pecans in there, we roast them ourselves. They're real pecans. We roast them, and then we infuse it for a month. So every flavor that we have in any of the whiskeys is real. Mm, sounds good. Right? There's, like there's my breasts. Taste, they're real. Taste, always tastes a bit better when you have, uh, you know, Cheers. that homegrown stuff. Cheers. Cheers. It does, because it tastes Oops. like... It tastes like cough syrup, right? <laughs> if it's not real, it tastes like medicine. And I like medicine sometimes, usually when I'm sick. Like Are you supposed to sip it or just shoot it? Because I'll... I'm going to say sip it. Oh, that was, this is unreal. Yeah. Also, I didn't bring ice. Um, <laughs> no, no, You no, got no, ice? No, no, let's keep it. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. All right, all right, all right. Get let's ice. Go. It's okay. Get ice. Fine. That's so good. Yeah, because right. would like obviously other experiences. Usually, when you have whiskey, it's not um, 
as easy to drink. Mm-hmm. But this is oh, we could talk it goes about down whiskey smooth. All day. So basically, whiskey. So sure, yeah, yeah, bolted could, down pretty much. You need more muscle. <clears throat> What's that song go like? I, I should have good biceps. <laughs> rain, d- rain brings corn. Corn brings whiskey. Grain brings corn. Rain, rain brings corn. Oh, rain! Br- I don't know. What's that song? Sing it for me. I don't. I'm not a singer, but uh, whiskey makes the ladies feel a little frisky. That one. <laughs> huh? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that is that is water. I, <laughs> <laughs> every time, every it's all right. It's all right. Thank every, you. Every time, because I respect the whiskey process, right? So right, I right. don't. I I try to not put too much in there. Because then, yeah, you lose some of that that flavor, that texture. All 100%. that hard work goes into water. So, so Mainland Whiskey has released how many whiskeys have we released? Like actual whiskeys, not including our cocktails, not including our liqueurs. I think we've we're so up to good. four now. So, first one, Suburbia, is a double barreled Canadian whiskey. And when I say Canadian whiskey, the only reason we call it a Canadian whiskey is because we make it in Canada. Fair enough. It's an American style whiskey. It's corn based. Eighty okay. percent corn, twenty percent malted barley is kind of our base main grain bill for everything that we do. Okay. Um, we barrel it generally now in our very niche specific style of barreling. And we actually use Okanagan barrels to do it. So Mm. we take BC Okanagan barrels, we open it up. When you open up a barrel, there's about 45 to 50 staves in a wine barrel. They're gently stained, right? With wine, but we don't want that in our whiskey. So we shave it all off. Okay. Right. So we take a bandsaw and run every single stave through that bandsaw to get rid of all the wine, and then we put it back together with fresh oak on the inside, and then we bring it outside to the back, and then we set it on fire for about 30, 40 seconds. That probably will create a char four, no, sorry, char five, char six, and if it's a little longer, char seven. And that is how much char, how much smoke is kind of going through the whiskey as it's aging, right? Mm. Um, And so that's kind of our process. That process is very reminiscent of a Southern style whiskey, right? And that's kind of, Steve's from Texas. That's where you learn how to make whiskey. Blah, 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 blah. He can tell you the story one day. <laughs> but that's what we do, okay? Um, Canadian whiskey, unfortunately, doesn't have a very good rap here. In yeah, the world, yeah. Right? It's because uh, it's chill cheaper filtered. stuff. Yeah, It's chill filtered. You want to know a funny fact? Mm. Most mainstream Canadian whiskeys, anyone that you could probably name, yep. isn't, isn't only whiskey. What is it? There's 10% vodka in there. Oh, that's why it has a different flavor. It's also not all aged. Burns. I find it burns different. It's it's plastered with caramel coloring. It's chill filtered to hell. So it removes all the flavor. And then they reintroduce all that flavor afterwards. Oh. But the marketing is brilliant. Well, I mean, right? it's the price point, I think, that gets you. Because that's what everyone starts. Uh, not everyone, it's but it's... Consistency a- and price point. You're right. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Like, you, you, you start off with those when you're... I mean, in high school, not saying, not condoning drinking in high school, but you'll have a drink when you're younger. Did you drink right? in high school? I did not. Oh, I didn't do that. You don't that. have any good stories to tell us right now? Uh, no, not, not, not revolving any whiskey. His mom listens to this. Yes. Oh, Mama Dan. <laughs> throw, throw me under the bus here. Mama Dan, you yeah, can leave no. the story in the comments, please. <laughs> yeah, the only, uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's always nice when you go up on the mountains, right? Especially the sweeter stuff. Oh, yeah, but uh, yeah, it's it's it. uh, it's an easy segue into into getting into you know drinking more on the weekends because yeah, it's easy to drink. So you can mix it with a bunch yeah. of stuff. Like easy to drink, easy to use. I mean, it's great if you have it for that game Kings Cup. You're you're the life <laughs> of the party if you're mixing that in. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> makes it that much better. I would say I would say one reason we're doing the old fashions is because it's easier. For people, mm-hmm. right? A lot of people don't just drink whiskey straight, right? Unless they want to get drunk or they want, they Did want, you? they like really, they're whiskey connoisseurs and they're really the enjoying same one? it. Oh, let me, mm. oh, there's a, that's a cherry. Yeah. Oh, okay, there's okay, different. okay. Let me try. Oh, I brought a bunch. Old fashioned. I want to tri- try the old fashioned. Oh, wow. Thank you. Got the orange in there and everything. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Mm. So, like I said, I've never, uh, had old fashioned on purpose, so this is gonna be the first official old fashioned I have. So, so somebody tricked you? I mean, you, sometimes you know when you're asking uh, in those breweries that I was referencing, mm. um, 
and you ask for something else instead of just beer, mm. they're like, oh, well, we have whiskey. And then at that uh, brewery we were speaking about, they did have an old-fashioned. Right. And then that's what I had. And I don't remember what it tastes like. So okay. now this is going to yeah, be yeah. the first. It's not your go-to, <laughs> but maybe it will be now. Try it. Oh, yeah. That's mm. good. What does it feel like? Well, it, it reminds me of, like, the exact huh? taste I'm talking about. When you're up on the mountain, you have that yeah. little cinnamony, you know, You're whiskey. riding down on, a, on skis. You see a bear. You're like, that's a better mode of transport. You jump on the bear. You're riding down the mountain on the bear, right? You hit a tree. It should hurt, but it feels so great. Oh, yeah, exactly. Right? You fall in the snow. And you just lie Your there. Your swollen body is being recovered by the brilliance of the ice, right? That's what it feels like. Right, you stand up, you go to the chalet, you order yourself a giant poutine. Maybe poutine. you get a beer, maybe you get a shot of whiskey on the side. You go home to Mama Dan, and you're like, I had the greatest day of my life. Right? Did anyone exactly. expect this when I said we're having mainland whiskey on? No, the no, I had no idea. I had no idea. <laughs> I'm just a normal person. Don, Donnie, Donnie sh- sh- showed up, so like, you know, Donnie's uh, here. Steve, Donnie's here to party. Steve, Steve has a lot to thank you for for coming out here. Well, you know, I agree. This is going to be fun. Okay. But uh, so you were saying, so you were coming from that island or was that? What yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I was born. Um, um, birthed? I was birthed um, in the sea. No, I'm just kidding. I wasn't birthed in the sea. Uh, in a an standard oak bar- bed, An oak barrel? Uh, in an oak barrel. No, I, did, I wasn't a drinker when I was a kid. I mean, I was only a kid, so I wasn't a drinker. Baby. My father, uh, what did he do? Uh, he raised gerbils. Oh, wow. He was a gerbil farmer. Awesome. Uh, and he milked them. <laughs> milked the gerbil. Yeah. Have you ever had gerbil milk? Never. It's so good. <laughs> what do you usually have that with? Just like, imagine just dipping your cookies in the gerbil milk? Yeah. It kind of has like the uh, refreshment of like a cow milk mixed with the creaminess of a goat milk. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, about goat milk he, the other day? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I mean, it helps the gerbils. They reproduce much quicker so we can sell a lot more of them and make money. To oh, survive. wow. And my mother was a school teacher. Um, easy. Specialized, though. Teaching gerbils or what? No, no. Paganism. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. That seems like a match made in heaven, that. They loved each other. Awesome. <laughs> uh, I and went to the school, uh, Lady of the Fruit, um, just for, you know, um, elementary school. Uh, and then I went to the Sheffield Institute, so I moved. And I went to the Sheffield Institute, a very, very prominent school, and I studied grain numerology. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. So you have a past in, in the whiskey. Well, unit. yeah. I mean, it's, grain is good for whiskey. It's good for uh, people to eat. It's good for um, livestock. It's just, it's, it's, it grows. Mm-hmm. And I counted it. <laughs> <laughs> there was no more efficient way to, to, to count it? It was just no, all no. by hand? The stories that I have, let me tell you. Um, so here, basically, on day one, one grain. Day two, two grains. Day three, four grains. You only count one grain a day? Uh-huh. I did two. And then four. And then, wow, and then, four, and then eight. And then by the end of the year, I was a millionaire. Of Perfect. Grains. No, I made a million bucks. It was great. Oh, cool. Wow, well, everyone should go to that school. Well, I mean, it's hard to get in. That's what you miss these days in the schooling system. Is yeah, that yeah. They teach you irrelevant things, but they should all be learning how to count grains. I agree. Yeah. I also went to school for musical interpretation. Oh, interpreting oh, no. the kazoo? Oh, that was that was my minor. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, just, uh, you know, that what, was does, the past- what does the wailing wheat sound like? Was that the favorite right, pastime kind of over there? Uh, yeah, yeah. Because what else did you do for fun over there on the island? Oh, uh, um, we ate a lot of oranges. Okay. Um, is that I why you like whiskey? Funny. Yeah, it's yeah, funny. you got I, the old fashioned, that's why? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's Grain why I'm so akin to the old fashioned. But no, we ate oranges. What else did we do? Um, um, we built things. We didn't have a lot of money, so I didn't, I mean... We basically took like two pieces of two by, by four that washed up on the shore, nailed them together, and that was, our, you know, our action figures. Okay. So, I mean, my grandpa right. tried to teach me how to swim. That was fun. How did he do that? He threw me in the ocean. Oh, man. 
Um, I disappeared for three days. <laughs> Co-star of the Castaway. Yeah, I, I I don't know. I was young, but uh, apparently they found me with a frog on my chest, uh, giving me CPR. <laughs> it was <laughs> it was an awful time. Uh, but this is this guy I carry around all the time now. He's <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. Was, uh, he's that must have been traumatizing. Yeah, that must Hercules, have been traumatizing. I call him. Anyways, so what do you do uh, for fun? <laughs> we 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 hang out in Langley. I think that's what we do for fun. I don't know. Okay, we, what are some of your like cool places to go? Uh, you know, go down to Fort Langley, go down to Langley City. What do you do go, in Fort Langley? Yeah, just uh, walk on the strip and and crack open a beer. Apparently, no, you don't do yeah, that. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're we're not supposed to, but you walk down the strip a, and you crack open a beer. Yeah, you drink it or you just throw it. Of throw course, it. Okay, yeah, of course. course. Yeah, nothing and, wrong uh, with that. God damn it. Maybe, maybe. Uh, it's illegal. It's, so it's yes, illegal. there is something oh, wrong right. with that. I mean, it's. Uh, it's a gray area. It's a gray area. Okay, like what if you're going to it's Fort Langley? Li- nowadays, uh, you can you it's, can drink. It's publicly. not a gray. It's not a gray area. It's not a gray area, Dan. <laughs> well, I don't Come know. Come on, about that. Dan. I don't know. You got to go into like Trading Post or uh, what else? That's is where I get the beer oh. from. Oh. And then he. Yeah, and then I oh. and then I uh, have a taster down the street. A street, and then yeah, what do you we mean a taster. A can we walk, of beer. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so not a taste. You got to taste all the different. Uh, you drank like a six pack, didn't it's you? Like a, it's like having a flight while you're on a walk. I think trading pass. It. It's four packs. Yeah, four they have pack, the four big packs. Big ones though. Yeah, yeah four they're packs. tall boys. Yeah, tall boys. Yeah, no. you're the one that's graffitiing the garbage cans, aren't you? Uh yeah, that's mm-hmm. me. It says the Langley podcast on. There. He's gonna get so many real estate uh, clients from this podcast <clears> today. <throat> Yeah, no, for exactly, exactly. Well, the the yeah, goal. This is the one that didn't air. The the goal. The Sorry goal about this. Is to. Sorry, Dan. Both Dan's. Dan. The the the. the He's Dan as well. Dan, oh, you're Dan. Dan. I'm Donnie. Dan squared. I did. I did meet you already. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, it's nice that we get to meet you know local. Uh, oh, there we go. Perfect. Oh, you're fine. That's exactly what I need right now. Yeah. Um, he lives close by. You do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, down the street. Danny, you want another one? Why are you throwing yeah. me under the bus? You want new? <laughs> yeah, Megan, don't throw your friend under the bus. Come on, Pick one. So a how cherry did... made with organic cherries. Yeah. Okay. So how did you guys meet? Because you guys uh, obviously are... Well, she's a social media star, if you didn't know. <laughs> yep, yep. I was been watching her for the last... How long have you been having those those stores? Uh, since 2016. I've been watching her since 2017. She's so vulnerable on camera. It's, oh. it's, it's a beautiful thing. No, I'm I'm, I'm really impressed. Steve told me about. It. I, I follow you. you. Get to and connect. I'm like, wow. Yeah. 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 Like, like I've seen I've seen your videos. I've seen genius. your I've seen your posts. You're doing great. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You. Oh, you. You're doing great. Oh, yeah. mm, 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 I mm. saw you recorded a song. Okay, this is a new <laughs> development. So funny enough, um, I'm starting a band. Oh, perfect. Oh, yeah. I saw that. I saw that. I know. And it's not just going to be kazoo. Like, I'm going to sing. It's going to be great. Um, it's going to be called Donnie's Whiskey Cult. Oh, perfect. Yeah. And we've had we've talked about cults on here before. Have you? Yeah. What do you know this, about cults? There's this friend. thing called, like, B&I or something like that. Oh, exactly. He's in B&I with me. <laughs> Who? Steve is, not me. Steve, <laughs> this, this guy right here. <laughs> yeah. Same, same. Yeah, yeah. Same, same. <laughs> we are. We're best friends and brothers, so it's, it is the exact go. same Can thing. Can you tell them apart? One has a turtleneck and chain. Mm-hmm. We're very different. One. I'm a little older. He's a little more naive. Yeah, Steve usually looks a little more hungover when I see him. Wow, do does he? <laughs> I feel like we've had some extremes. Steve? We, we've had some extremes now. I tell him not to overdo it, but, you know, he's always hosting and blah, 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 and no... I don't drink, they won't drink. You know. Does he ever does he does he know about your your past with the gerbil farming? Oh, he does. Okay. Good. I told him. As long as you're on the same page. I've showed him that. pictures. I should have brought the pictures. On the gerbil farm. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. It's fantastic. Um oh yeah. So anyways, I'm I'm starting a band. Uh it's me. And funny enough, um, Steve's old bandmate, he was in a band. It was a pretty good rock and roll band. He used to tour and all that stuff. And oh. his buddy, AJ, guitar player. Um, moved really close to Mainland Whiskey and called Steve up and said, hey, Steve, you want to record some songs? And Steve's like, I'm too busy. But I got a guy named Donnie. He's in my way. You want to take him? He's like, yeah. And we get along great. And he's so musical. He knows, like, the back end recording, melody, harmony. And I just 
I just talk really and and, and spout off nonsense. Sing your heart but out. It works. Yeah, yeah. I, got I heard of, that. What was I got that? A lot of charisma. I think. What was that you know, last one that you posted? What was Passion. that about? I uh, I watched the video, but I forget what you were what Which you one? were singing about. That first the first uh, teaser video that you made. Oh, today? Was that today? I think it might have been. Yeah. I don't know. I was just riffing. That's not part of the song. That's just like me riffing. That's you freestyling. So so basically what I want to do, it's freestyling. Yeah. I tend to do that sometimes. But I, the genre of music, I was like, how can I classify this genre of music? Pop hymns. Pop hymns. Yeah. Yeah, because I love that gospel <laughs> element, the choir, the oh, yeah, choral yeah, 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 stuff. Yeah. But I like pop music too. And I, I think I like the melody of it, right? You can like harmonize and stuff. So we're going to write pop songs. But we're going to add, like, a, a spiritual twist with, like, and also oh, I, know, I know two opera singers. So no it's organ. me, this guy named AJ, and two opera singers. We're the band. You're going to throw some organs in there? We have organs. Oh. For real. That's like the real? first song. Yeah. Real? Okay. Yeah. Not, like, called? physical organs. Or the cult has organs. Like, like within our body? Yeah, I thought you meant that type of organ. Throwing. I was talking about the piano, but. That's what I was talking okay, about. Okay, good. We're on the same Are page. Are talking about I play my heart? I play my heart out. Yeah, there you go. But I don't rip my heart out of my chest and play it. If that's and what sacrifices mean. to the to the no. cult. Okay, that's good. That's awkward. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say to that, huh? Now we're on the same page. Okay, I, yeah, I yeah. I think we are. Yeah. No, we're not like that. But we do burn barrels, and so we like we're gonna find rituals and stuff, oh, yeah. and we're gonna do good. Um, there's a couple charities that we're gonna raise. Um, we're releasing our sour mash whiskey. Oh wow, that sounds good. Oh, it's so good. I'm a big fan of sour candy. Oh, kind of the same thing. Pretty much. <laughs> Kind of. But with whiskey. But with whiskey, yeah. But Do you know what a sour mash whiskey is? I'll tell you. You can't tell me. Because you don't know. <laughs> I have no clue. Do you know a famous sour mash whiskey out there? I don't know what sour mash whiskey is. Like Jack Daniels. A Foley? Like that's what that is? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. They're, they're, it's a I thought, I thought it was whiskey. like a, I thought it was like a flavor of the whiskey. So you know what sourdough bread is? Yeah, okay. So, so that uh -huh. is basically the exact same thing as a sour mash whiskey. So... I was very wrong. No, Sour Patch Kids are delicious. Imagine that. And whiskey. you're okay. Right? Okay. Sour Mash Whiskey. <laughs> Do you guys know what a Sour Mash Whiskey is? Okay. Let me educate you people. Jack Daniels is the world's most famous Sour Mash Whiskey. Jack Daniels is probably not listening to this podcast, so I'm going to have to say it's not a very good whiskey, except for some of their specialty brands. Gentleman Jack's pretty good, and some of their other stuff is pretty good. Their standard, number seven, eh. Okay. However, Mickner's has a great sour mash. So sour mash is when you distill something in a tank, okay, um, you basically get all of the alcohol out, and what's left is grain water, fatty acids, proteins, and active yeast, right? So it's basically like a dark-colored water, right? It's like a beer. So beer goes into the still. All the alcohol comes, comes out. It's concentrated into a whiskey, but there's, there's something left, and that is called backset. So because there's active yeast in that back set, we can take that and we can put it in the next mash and we don't really have to worry about yeast mm. because it's going just like a sourdough bread. It's going to start by itself, right? But we want it to be consistent, so we're going to add yeast to it anyways. However, back in the, the old hillbilly days when they were moonshiners, that's what they used to do. Oh, really? They, used, they didn't have a consistent strain of yeast. So they used to make sour mashes so that they can keep on replicating whiskey mashes without any yeast. Mmm, interesting. Isn't that cool? And it tastes cool. So there's a bit of kind of sour flavor, but when you put it in a barrel, it really mellows it out. Mm -hmm. It really mellows it out, and it turns it into something delightful. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah. And so you back. So you were talking about back in the day, the hillbillies, the moonshine yeah. days, right? So <clears throat> that pretty much sour mash is what moonshine is then, or is that totally different? It and depends. I'm, if they if they threw in yeast and they didn't use back back set, it was just an, a probably a corn whiskey, but okay. a lot of it was sour mash. Yeah, and sour mash doesn't have to be aged either. And then do you get like a higher uh, alcohol concentration or no? Okay. No, it depends on what the what the mash was, um, like the alcohol, right? The higher the alcohol percentage of the mash, the higher uh, whiskey strength is going to be, basically. Mm -hmm. Also, depend. There's so many criteria. Uh, the size, the the type of your still. Is it a pot still? How many times you're distilling it? Is it a reflux still? Is it a column still? 
right? So it totally depends on multiple factors for your high level of um, alcohol percentage or proof, as they right, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow, Lots you, of factors. You definitely know your stuff about greens. I School studied it. Came in handy. Yeah. Damn straight. If you ever need any grain counted, I'm your guy. Perfect. Now we know we have a grain counter as a contact here. That's right. On Friday, there was like a 50% whiskey. What was that? That's a sour mash. Oh. You got an early tester. I didn't have it, obviously. Obviously, you yeah. didn't have it. <laughs> but I remember everyone saying it was pretty strong. That's right. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Um, Jay bought everybody a shot. Mm. And then he bought everybody a barrel strength shot at 68.5%. So what's the highest concentration that uh, you've made or that yeah that you might make through this process? So generally what we do at Mainland Whiskey is we cask everything kind of like the South. We cask everything at 65%, okay? What comes out of this still um, could be anywhere from 80% to 90%. Wow. Right? After At 95%, then that is vodka, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you can make vodka out of anything. Okay. Anything. Yeah. Grain. Uh, That's my favorite. What else? Grain, uh, fruit, I mean, uh, vodka, bread, the... <laughs> potatoes. Thank you. Uh, dirt. So why is vodka? Why is vodka so uh, low? And uh, was it? It's so popular in this whole like. Uh, what's that? It's, I don't want to say that word. So I'm gonna just say uh, health conscious people who prefer vodka, mm. like well, myself. What was the bad word you were going to say? I was going to say something. <clears throat> Never mind. Um, you can say it. I'm uh, not a judgmental uh, person. We'll just we'll just call it a health conscious. I'm just going um, down on this. But that, why why is uh, vodka? Because more, they're uh, idiots. <laughs> health conscious. Is that what you're going to say? <laughs> no, no. Sorry. <laughs> no. Sorry. They're idiots? <laughs> Morons? No, there's a trend. There's a trend with the Dumb whole vodka Dumb people? Thing. No. It's marketing. So vodka is basically colorless, flavorless, tasteless. The reason people drink vodka is because they want to get drunk without tasting alcohol. They want the, the hit without the feel of getting hit. And okay. they want to be able to mix it effortless, effortlessly in juices, water. purees, waters, sodas, without tasting the alcohol. That's why. But they still want to feel that buzz. But the calories on that, like, no! is it the same thing? It's ridiculous. Mm. They're all the same. It's distilled spirit. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, that's controversial. Isn't that funny? I'm glad you uh, yeah. broke that. because Somebody, Give them my email. We'll have a chat about what it. What about the hangover? What about the hangover? Isn't there more chances that you have that uh, hangover from drinking something other than that, Vodka? that could be true. Okay. However, it depends on how you cut your alcohol. Because okay. if you produce an, a vodka and you cut it really poorly and you allow a lot of heads and a lot of tails, which is the beginning part of the run and the last part of the run, there's a lot of different alcohols in, in you know, the, before the final product. There's probably about like 16, 17, 18. I'm not even sure the entire number. Like ethyl acetates, methanol, acetone. Uh, and then ethanol is the beverage alcohol that you want. On the tails, which is the blast part of the run, fatty acids and lipids, right? It smells like bread, right? Um, so it depends on how much, how you cut that thing, right? If you cut it really close and it's just ethanol, you'll be fine. If you add too much heads, like ethyl acetate, isopropyl, it's gonna hit you and give you heartburn, right? Mm. Might give you a hangover in the morning. But generally, hangovers, are caused by sugar, right? So drink too much white wine. Oh, for sure. Yeah. You get I, mean, I like you white get, wine, but get like- a hangover not, while you're drinking it. Yeah, if the cleaner the product is cut, the less hangover you're gonna have in the morning, right? Mm -hmm. So you just want that beverage alcohol, you want that ethanol, and that is it. You don't want the shit on one side or the shit on the other. Mm. Isn't there ethanol in gas? There is ethanol in gas. You know what they make gas out of? Potatoes, corn, but no, I think I think there's only a very small amount. Gasoline, oh. so. gasoline's made <laughs> yeah. of corn. A lot of it is. I mean, so, that's uh, that's that new uh, the new the, the 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 organic gasoline that they were trying. It's to... the one that you can drink at the pump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. So I I fill up my van and then I fill up my cup. Perfect. But I don't drink the cup until I get home safe. <laughs> Okay. No, <laughs> I, think, I think basically, I think they're, they're, I'm not sure about the oil industry. Okay. 
I don't have enough money to think about those guys, right? But I think what happens is you'll see on a pump and it'll say not only 10% ethanol, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. the more ethanol that they use, the the, le- the less pure of gas it is. Mm-hmm. I'm not really sure. Right, right. Maybe you need like a an oil rig guy in here to tell you that stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Steve might know because it's Texas and Man, stuff. Yeah, oil. Steve. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 that guy. His math teacher was a was an oil rigger, and then he was an oil engineer. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's interesting. Not I really. didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> He's always causing trouble, that guy. You guys have had a bit to drink, so maybe you need a snack. Oh, Let's great have a snack. segue. Oh, those pretzels. Uh, I love oh, those things. Those, oh, that's smart. Uh, so we got those pretzels, which you can find at the local space. They are made in South Surrey, like in the same complex yeah. as you. <laughs> I, I met. I met. Yeah, they're I met like one your neighbors. They, something like that. No, yeah. they're they're up the street. Well, they're somewhere in Campbell Heights Valley Heights. Where where do you where are you? Campbell Heights. Campbell Heights. Campbell Heights. Thirty second mm. and one eighty nine in Surrey. Mm. South Surrey. Got you. Um, I asked what was in those pretzels. Oh. Mm hmm. What's in there? They wouldn't tell me. Oh. Well, you could look at the ingredients on the back. Oh, know. my God. That's why you're running this thing, and I'm just here. <laughs> so this is my, um, we're having two firsts, popping my cherry twice. I, uh, Dan says I've, he doesn't like is pretzels. Is that possible? I've never had pretzels. Again. You've never intentionally, had pretzels? Intentionally. Like, you know. What's I've wrong had with them by you? by accident. You know those mix, those, what's it called? Tr- not trail mix. What's it called? Munchies? Called munchies. munchies? Oh. What are called? And there's like cheesies and there's shit. There's cheesies in there? yeah. and, oh, and, and the chips. Out. Yeah, and they throw oh, pretzels. The party mix. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love the party mix. So obviously, yeah, yeah you love the party, maybe, Mel? I don't know. Yeah. No, not too much. Okay, there you go. But uh, <laughs> so yeah, sometimes I accidentally grab one and it ends up in my mouth, and I'm like, oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh, well. Not the first time, eh, Dan? No. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try one of these. That's actually pretty good. I told you. I don't know if it's the whiskey talking or they're ridiculously delicious. <laughs> Those pretzels. Once you start, you can't stop. They're actually pretty good. <laughs> they are good. They are. Oh, pretty good. They oh. pair really well with Oh, real fast. I think it was a non-pretzel that I had that tasted good. I mean, what is mean, that They're one? all pretzels. They're just, they're just what, different what they shapes. Non- okay. It's a rock. They're just different shapes, so the same thing. Yeah, there's I have two different, and then the, and then nope. the, these ones. Yeah. All right, so I something hit my tongue there. I don't know what it was. Okay, not the first time, right, Ron? <laughs> I didn't say it. Okay. <laughs> this is getting. This is getting. So how long have you been a realtor? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the, the. That's like the delayed uh, uh, conversation piece. Yeah, I've been in real estate since 2016. So okay, been around the block. Going good. Yeah, yeah, it's been it's been pretty solid. What do you like about being a realtor? Um, you get to wear turtlenecks. Yeah, that's my favorite part, actually. I did want to say I don't know I, if we were on the air, but you do look very very handsome with that turtleneck. You uh, too. Suit jacket combo. Thank you. This is a 1978 Pierre Cardin uh, custom suit. Oh wow, that's mm-hmm. amazing! I know. I I'm like the colors. Put... I, I think I think I should uh, consider that palette now. That next, you're time. more than walk, welcome to walk into it. a showing. Yeah. It'll definitely help them uh, consider buying the home. I mean, I don't know what the stats would be, but probably double, double your sales. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, well, yeah. that's a pretty good ratio then. Yeah, yeah. And then I think one of these on the table. That's ah. the. F- well, I'm about three deep, so maybe three on the table. <laughs> maybe, yeah. I, uh, true, true. You know what I, I like mean, for your? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, I can definitely have some of that. Mm-hmm. It'll definitely help me. Uh, you not know. for you. That's not what I'm oh. saying. For your, for the people that are you're showing homes to. Oh, so you're saying get them to drink? So yes. They, uh, not to get drunk, but just to like whet their appetite for a nice big sale. There you go. Right. You put it on ice. You pretend that you've made the cocktail. You pour it into a beautiful oh. crystalline glass. Wow. You take an orange. You peel it. You cut the edges. You twist it. The orange zest falls into the drink. You rim the glass, and then you hand it to the person with the most money. That sounds like a commercial. <laughs> Just saying. Not trying to write that's these a, things, that's but That's a great you're idea. Yeah, we got that's... one more. Come on, Double Dan. So is this Hercules right here, or what? <laughs> this is Hercules. Uh, I, he goes with me everywhere. Yeah, well, you said frogs on your chest, and that looks like a yeah, frog. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously not the frog that was on my chest that saved my life from three days in the ocean, but... 
I found it in a it's thrift a, shop. It's a, it remi- it's a reminder of yeah. the good old. Yeah, yeah, Hercules. Do I, I touch him? Is it good luck? Yes. This seems like a better idea. Throw that on the table That's at right. a showing. He's a nice guy. Seems like it. You're a good boy. <laughs> Lucky her. <laughs> All right, what do we have there? Ah, uh, the Jasmine New Fashion. Okay. So that's uh, for the tick. T- t- well, yeah, exactly. Yep. Can't talk anymore. Come on, um, Dan. Get your glass. Typical uh, fruity, light, lavender. What? Jasmine? Jasmine. <laughs> Jasmine. So thing. it's unaged corn whiskey, so moonshine, but really premium moonshine. Uh, Jasmine water, cane sugar, and celery bitters. This smells like essential oils. <laughs> Could you use it for the same thing? <laughs> I don't know. Here. Let's dip some. <laughs> Yeah, that'll get rid of the headache. No, it'll make you smell good, Darren. Oh, and get rid of the headache. Yeah, oh, it's, it's already it's working. Whoa. That's what it's for. Nice. I don't know. Essential oils. They help with uh, with uh, with headaches, you know? Yeah. I That's mean, it's real good. jasmine. We use real jasmine water, so it's... Um, we don't make the jasmine water, so I don't know where the jasmine flowers are coming from, but... They're probably ethically sourced, though. So I'm sure they are. <laughs> <laughs> So what uh, what's in the pipeline uh, for uh, Steve in Mainland, other uh, than that show? What else do we got going on? Every Sundays, okay, um, we have live music, 2.30 to 5. It's been actually a huge hit. We got uh, one, so it's a concurrent. So um, live music every Sundays, but one week, it's Sunday sessions with Philly Dupree and James Devon, uh, two White Rock legends, and then they bring their friends and they play. And then the next week is uh, Richard and Frank, actually two more uh, legends from New West and uh, I don't know where the other guy's from, but New West. They all play in New West. And so it's like two different teams, and they all they still know each other. So sometimes uh, one group will play with the other guys, and one group will play with the other guys. Uh, and it's a it's a great, great time. They play a lot of blues, folk. Um, they're, they're friends. I mean, there's who showed up? Uh, Victor with his fiddle and accordion. There's a bunch of acoustic guitar players, electric guitar players, percussionists. Uh, flautists. That's like a full-on band going. Yeah, on. there's lots, and 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 actually, uh, just this Sunday was awesome. Um, two new two new people came up. They thought it was an open mic, and and uh, <laughs> Richard was like, "No, it's not an open yeah, mic. Much sorry, sorry, it's not an open mic." But they were like, "Can we play anyways?" And he's like, "They had all this equipment." I'm like, "Okay, oh wow, okay." He was like, "Okay, you can play," because he's the curator. I'm just, I just listen, and uh, they played, and oh my. God, were they good. The harmonies, like acoustic guitar covers, like Flowers by Miley Cyrus. My God. The harmonies were beautiful. It was better than Miley Cyrus herself. That's a good song. Was she wearing that, like, singlet and, like, swinging on that wrecking ball or something? (laughs) Yeah, two different songs. But I understand where you're going with that. That's what I remember. No, I believe she was wearing a scarf and glasses. Oh, there you go. Um, And she was sitting on a stool. Uh, But my God, and, and it was a guy and a girl, and... The guy was singing the high harmonies. Oh. And he was effortless, effortlessly. So how are you finding the sun, the Sundays, though? Sundays that's are great. A very, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's becoming a regular thing for people. So that's actually become one of our busiest days. Oh, wow. Yeah, and then we usually have like a $10 roll fashions, any any kind you want, and then $10 uh, pulled pork sandwiches. So we smoke all oh, our own wow. meat, and you can do pulled pork sandwiches and or pulled pork nachos. and Fantastic. That's awesome. Yeah. That so sounds we, great. Yeah. Actually. We do we have that. good Brussels sprouts. And we have good Brussels sprouts. Yeah. Mm. I, it was my recipe for that uh, garlic maple like, ole little squeeze on top. Mm. It was delicious. Right. My mother's recipe. You know what's great is when you have Brussels sprouts and you're pleasantly surprised by the taste. Because usually you're like, uh, I don't know about that. And Brussels you, sprouts you, are my favorite vegetable. Really? Yeah. Depends who doesn't, cooks them. Doesn't though. matter how they're cooked. I really? love them. You just have them just steamed. <laughs> Yeah, like oh. I'll have them. You like, don't put any seasoning. Yeah, a bit of salt on there. Yeah, yeah a salt. you got butter. Have I like a charred Brussels sprout. Yeah, mm. yeah, me too. But I'll just eat boiled Brussels sprouts. I do too. Yeah, they're yeah. good for you. Like I mean, broccoli. Yeah. My, like a couple times a month. My, have Brussels sprouts. A wow. couple times. Don't overdo it. Too much vitamin D. Mm. You don't want that. <sighs> no such do. thing. Maybe I'm talking about the C one. Then is there an E? Is there a D12? That's B12. B12? I don't know what I'm talking about. Mm. They're too healthy. That's what I say. That's good. Yeah. Got to have limit them to once a year. No, I like it. So these are air fried, okay? So not deep fried. Air fried. Is that more healthy? I yeah, don't know. That's but they what taste I heard. good. Yeah. yeah, that's what I hear. Yeah. Some things are shit in the air fryer, though, eh? You think they're going to be good, and you're like, wow. 
garbage. The, I've never had something that tastes gross in the air, air fryer. fryer. Yeah, what are you talking about? I don't know. What did you try to in make in it? Um, did you put an Oreo in there? No. Okay, try Maybe. that. Yeah, ice so. cream casserole. I made a casserole in the air fryer. Don't do that. Oh, let me tell it comes you, out too dry. I spent twenty minutes cooking, an hour in the bathroom. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You're killing poor Dan over there. <laughs> Sorry, Dan. Uh, Cheers. I don't know how uh, you do it. Honestly, I'm like sweating bullets, it feels like, in I'm this thing. Feeling a bit cold in here. <clears throat> Maybe you could turn up the heat. Yeah, I do come from the south, though. So, know. yeah. Anyways. I yeah, thought I you came from the ocean. No, it's an island. I, was, I, oh, I came and swim. The ocean I almost drowned, for South. God's sakes, Megan. Ah. Yeah, I'm learning still though. I, I'm taking lessons. The Grandview Pool, they're Are nice. You? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Don't laugh. That's cool. Just because I'm a 52 year old man taking swimming lessons, just because that six year old's a bully, I don't care. Grand Grandview Pool is pretty nice. Beautiful. <laughs> Do you know when that I'm means in that it's pool, very have real, you been to very the specific? Pool? Yeah. You know what I'm really talking about around that area? No, no, this one's the high dive. What? It's the one yeah. with the, 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 yeah, the it's little like a four of them. roof. The lazy Steve. river. Yeah. Have you ever seen that movie Gattaca with Ethan Hawke and Uma Thurman? It makes me feel like I'm in that movie. Like I'm in the space movie. Like I'm in the future. Because those roofs are so curvy and so Oh, clean. yeah. It's very nice. And right? Fun, it's yeah. gorgeous. And it's because I'm underwater and you're like. I don't know the last time I've been to a swimming pool. You should go. It's good for you. The Leisure yeah. Center in Chilliwack. That's probably the last oh. swimming pool I've been to. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say it's good even... for you after you get better from the disease that you caught there. Mm. Right? Every time I go, I get sick for a week. It's disgusting. But Grandview's so clean. It's such a clean pool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it's super nice. Nice area coming up with a lot of development soon. You you live around there? I do. Yeah, yeah. Well, I Mainland Whiskey's around there, so you live in Mainland Whiskey? Yeah. Yeah. They different. let me move in. There you go. I'm, I'm between places. Actually, the, there's a distilling room that we bought or that we had to build. Uh, Steve had to build it. And then um, there was like just storage space on top. Yeah, there's some barrels. And I had to move apartments because, you know, long story. Anyway, uh, I asked if I could just stay there for a while. What do you like to do in that area other than go have swimming lessons at Grandview? Hey, Grandview? I don't like to go to the Dutch. Sorry, the Dutch. You need to cook your goddamn potatoes. <laughs> um, what else is over there? What else do they got that I like? Mm. It's okay. There's nice and nice people. I like coffee, so I go to like Starbucks, Tim Hortons. There's like a local little coffee shop sometimes, the Island Coffee. That's not bad. Uh, there's an Adidas store. You know, I run about, you know, once every six to seven months. So you need awesome. to be prepared. So I usually go get outfitted before I do my monthly run. Yeah, they always got that 50% off deals. So. Every time. <laughs> you got to buy something and then you get the 50% off. But they got cool stuff. I'm hip with the kids, you know. Uh, I like tacos. There's yeah, actually good no, there's no good tacos. No, there's not. They're all shit over there. Taco, the, Fi Taco Fino's opening soon. Oh, I haven't been there. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. But Is no, it good? On the, oh, on I the, haven't on been. the strip, they have uh, a couple taco spots. What strip? On the uh, White Rock strip. Oh, you call that a strip? Oh, yeah. What else is it called? A beach? I mean, there's it's a there's a strip of. I guess business. you're right. I guess I'm sorry. I apologize. I guess you're right. Uh, Are you talking about another strip? Yeah, Vegas. Oh, I thought I thought you were gonna say the Granville Strip. I mean, oh never, yeah, Granville Strip. I've too. never been Thank there. You. You've never been to the Granville Strip. You've never been oh, to Vegas. Not that Granville Strip, but yeah, I've been to that strip, but not the other strip. If you know what I mean. I am so confused, Dan. It's all right. Huh? We're just rolling. You've with been it. to the Grandview Strip, Granville Strip, but not the Vegas Strip. I've been, I've been to both. I've been to both. Okay. But well, you haven't been to <laughs> Only someone so. else's strip. Ah, ah, that is not right. <laughs> uh, but uh, we're, I don't even know where the time has gone. I are guess we done? Four bottles deep. <laughs> yeah, I These literally. Magnificent I, giant bottles. I looked up and it was already like cutting it close. So, okay. I mean. Okay. Anything, one, one any, thing. yeah. Uh, tacos. I Chihuahua in White Rock is really good. Viva Mexico okay. and Langley is really good too. Viva Mexico is good. Mm -hmm. I don't Around know, my I area, I haven't gone to Taco Fina, but they're all. Mm. Well, Mexico. it's not I open yet, so. Okay, but mm -hmm. okay. He he didn't want to blast all the tacos there. So where can people find you? 
uh, 32nd and 189th in Mainline Whiskey. That's where our lounge is. That's where our distillery is. Uh, MainlineWhiskey.com. Go to our Instagram. I got my own Instagram too. Donnie and Whiskey. Follow me. I'm just as good as them. Follow me. Yeah, I don't know why they wouldn't follow you. Why wouldn't they? I don't know. I'm not very hip on the technology, so I don't know. Um, you have some pretty high quality videos. <laughs> thank you. I. It's almost like you hired a company. It almost seems that way. Wow, you're very talented. But we haven't. Kazoo. Well. Saved by a turtle. Oh. Frog. No, frog. My bad. My bad. You listen? <laughs> yeah. And it's a pleasure to meet you. It's all green. It's all green. Yeah, no, thanks for coming on. And uh, thanks for watching. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what time it is right now. We're having but... fun though, right? This is, is this fun? Is no, this the uh, best podcast you've ever done? Time flies. <laughs> I've literally say never... It, say it, yes. Never even paid attention. Yeah, that, that was great. So thanks for tuning in to Live from Langley, BC. If you're still here, hopefully you are. Don't forget to subscribe and rate us. Why wouldn't they be, Dan? Why wouldn't they still be here? They're here. They're probably drinking with us. Yes, they now. are. Oh, you can order our products online to ship directly to your house. So when you watch this podcast, you can have a little sip. Oh, so you're saying that if you drink, you don't have to drive because you can just order. But it'll order, take a couple home. days to get to you. So, so just make sure you more. know that it's coming. <laughs> so keep drinking until the... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Or right. go to a local liquor store or the distillery. Purchase the product, bring it home, you're safe at home, and then you can which, watch the podcast. Which, which one should they, uh, which, what's your favorite? Uh, I really like the, uh, I like our kazoo whiskey, but I also like our classic old fashioned, it's fantastic, the coffee old fashioned, it's fantastic, the cherry old fashioned, it's fantastic, yeah, the my jasmine favorite. new fashion, is <clears throat> fantastic, the I dancing know. pony praline liqueur is fantastic, they're all fantastic. Oh, we got something called Jinski, it's fantastic too. Does it taste like gin, or is it gin? It's not that it's both and neither it's high proof unaged corn whiskey infused like a gin juniper lavender burdock root grapefruit peel and ginger uh we add a little bit of sh uh, sugar um sugar to it uh, cane sugar uh, and then we bring it down to 53 percent. so it's high proof herbal liqueur mm. packs a punt beautiful with like soda and grapefruit any citrus beautiful in cocktails mm. gotta try that one ginsky you'll have to come down to mainland um, i personally invite I, you i will be there please yeah we'll both be there. Yeah, yeah, she's been there. I've been, oh. I was just there on Friday. She's been there like dozens <laughs> of times. Guess it's just me. Yeah, we'll bring the baby by. It'll be a great time. You got a baby? Yeah. Oh, congratulations. Thank How you. How old? Well, almost two, but pretty much same. So like a toddler. Pretty much toddler, yeah. We accept toddlers. Perfect. She'll she'll <laughs> dance along with the band. Perfect. And uh, yeah, so yeah, thanks for coming on. If you don't already, thank you. subscribe. We make videos like this every single week. See you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Are we done?